Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back with a, a video, and today's video is going to be how to really improve and speed up um, your boot up times within Windows, whether it's on a desktop or, or a laptop. Now what I'm going to show you is nothing like, new or super exciting. It's just I've been showing this to a lot of people, and, and nobody really knew this, so I just thought I'd you know share it quickly with you guys, and just you know hopefully it may improve your system. Uh, so what you need to do is click on your Start menu, and simply go to type in msconfig, press Enter and you'll come up with this system configuration um, now I, what I'm going to do here is just show you a few little tips which will really speed up boot up times and you know hopefully get onto your machine quicker so you can leave the general tab alone if you jump straight onto boot now this is going to show your operating system whether it's um, XP I think XP looks slightly different than this but if you've got Windows 7 which most people do now it's going to show this so I've got Windows 7 Ultimate all you need to do is click on that and then click on advanced options now usually this box will be unticked and it'll be on one so it's basically only using one of your cores now depending whether you've got a dual core, quad core, six core, even eight core now um, you can set how many cores you want uh, windows to use whilst booting up um, so mine's a quad core um, so I'm just going to set four cores like that and then all you simply need to do is click OK leave the maximum memory at zero even though it's not at zero it's going to use your full potential so it boots up faster so no need to change that click OK and then just another thing here is uh, as you're booting up you may see this kind of like the four window colors come in uh, saying starting up windows and it kind of moves into the center and does all that crazy shit well there's no need to do that uh, if you click on this no GUI boot tick that box all you'll see it'll just take that animation away which you don't need slows your computer boot time up a little bit and you'll just see these kind of like four little um, underscore lines at the top of the screen that's normal and that'll speed up your boot up as well now here uh, this depending on, on how many drives you've got and, and whether you've got your BIOS to boot from CD or hard drive first it should usually say 30 seconds there so just change that to 3 seconds it just speeds up the process if you have if you don't have it set correctly uh, next thing is services now I can't tell you on your computer what you need to do on services but there is a, a website I think it's called Black Viper maybe something like that google it for uh, choosing which services basically these services will start up when your computer boots up and just turning off quite a few of these you know can really improve speed up times it doesn't have to boot as many stuff they're just your services but a lot of them uh, especially if you tick this button here it says hide Microsoft services you definitely don't really want to turn those off but these ones like a few of them I've stopped just like some of the um, Arcsoft and AMD ones uh, Bitcomet, iPod services you don't always need them on um, so that's one thing. Then the main thing is obviously a lot of people know this anyway, but it's on the startup. Now, your list could be huge. If you're having crazy boot up times, like four or five minutes, then you're really going to have to look at this tab startup. What is it, what is it actually starting uh, You know, when the computer boots up? Now, your list could be double mine, but if, as you can see, I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten things starting up. Um, when I turn the computer on. Now I could even reduce this list. I've only I just could have installed this uh, Acronis which I'll probably be making a video on soon. Um but obviously that list could be full. I mean you don't need uh QuickTime starting up, you don't need iTunes starting up, you don't need Skype starting up. So turning a lot of this stuff off um you know but really speed up boot up times. Now it's obviously you just wanna if you kinda move this one across here, if it's like you just have to know your own computer kind of like whether it's a driver for like I know this LXD that's my Lexmark printer so I'm gonna leave those two you wanna leave your mouse and your keyboard on which is that one and I think it, oh no, it's a two in one so they're the ones I'd use for uh, my, uh, your mouse and keyboard and then just a few other stuff obviously we, make sure you do leave your HD audio on because that's your driver for your audio but other than that you don't really need anything on and that'll speed up then all you need to do is click apply and OK. May ask you if you want to restart, just click no, you can do it next time you boot up. And um, that's it really guys. So uh, if you enjoy these kind of computer tips, I'm going to be doing quite a bit more of them. Um, you know, obviously my channel's kind of known for editing and montage and stuff like that, but I'm really having to put that on the back burner with my job. So if you're looking for, you know, up to date editing tutorials, you know, look around. There's plenty of good channels that are probably even better than me now, uh, due to the fact I've fallen behind a bit. But if you like the kind of PC stuff, you know, the building, the tips, what's the new features that I'm going to be showing you, you know, stick with me and, uh, yeah, I'll have quite a few videos out. So thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.